Hey guys, I'm back in St. Louis in the US. Um, I arrived last night. I actually slept normally. Um, I feel a bit chat lagged, but uh, nothing too bad. So it's just afternoon here. I'm about to change my privacy settings so other people can challenge me. And hopefully that works. Let me refresh. Let me open up the chat. Hello to people in the chat. Hello, Pai Jows, Slomcam, Zagaga Jenka, Refrica, Anunius. Good to see you guys. Uh, let's go to the homepage. I'll take challenges if people want to play me. I could play someone here too. Belgium Novice, good to see you. Saxy90. Uh, I'm still waiting for a challenge. No challenges. Who's going to be the first one? I'll accept the first person who challenges me. How about that? To reward the, the speedy. Or maybe no one wants to challenge me. Anyone? I feel so lonely right now. <laughs> Send me mate puzzles. Hello. Interesting username. Well, if no one wants to play me, uh, I can I can just play someone here. I can play Jarda. Let's play Jarda. And I'll wait for challenges. Oh, send me mate puzzles is is it, is this your first time watching live? That's exciting. Let's play let's play a London. I was just in London yesterday. Had a very smooth trip. Stopped in Iceland. Got some good sushi at the airport. Okay, London time. I'll play c4 and we'll go into this line with queen. Ooh, he takes. What is taking? Well, queen b3 is a threat here. I think queen b3 is still a fine move. Attack the pawn. Try and induce some weakness. Then I'll play knight c3. Now this is 3 plus 1. So... I can't like dirty flag him. I'll have to actually get a good position. My alignment off. Let me fix this alignment. I think the board is too close to the edge. Is that better? That's slightly better. Hello to Karmar. Hello to Chess Trainee with one E. Uh, he plays b6. I play bishop b5 and c6. I'll play knight f3. It's complete development. Oh, maybe bishop b5 was a good move because I had bishop take b8. Too late now. I still like my position. Good development, good center. I have more center pawns than him. Maybe someday I'll play knight c3, rook e1, and e4. Okay, let's not concede the bishop. Now I have the bishop pair too. Okay, c5, thematic move. Rook d1 comes to mind. This idea comes to mind. But he could take and play knight c5 in some cases. I'm going to play rook d1. If he takes, I take with rook. I avoid any IQP. And then... I would be pinning his knight to his queen. And the queen doesn't have like a great place to go in this position. Because e7 runs into bishop d6 ideas. c7, at some, some point I'll get a rook to c1. Um, okay, so he plays queen e7. I guess it's playable. If I take, he takes and attacks my queen. So maybe I play this. This is just a pin. And then I want to do this and this. Or maybe this and this. Ah, interesting move. I think I'll put the bishop back on f4. I really like this bishop. It's the only dark squared bishop on the board. Thanks to Obia20 for the follow. 
By the way, do you guys have any feedback with my new stream layout? Because I've changed some things, tried to make the board bigger. Let me know if it is great or if it's bad. Always looking for feedback. I think bishop a6 is just really strong because, oh, because now I'm trapping a rook. Bishop b7, and the rook has to go to d8, but then I have bishop c7. So white's winning an exchange. Just have to watch out for time. What times do you stream? I'm going to put together a stream schedule this week. Um, maybe even I'll have it put together today. I haven't had a schedule lately because I was traveling and it was just too hectic. Every day was different. But now for the next three weeks while I'm in St. Louis, I'll have some consistency. So. People can find my schedule on my website. There should be a, a schedule command too. Uh, Nightbot should deliver with that. F2 is attacked. I forgot about F2. I could take on E4. I could just trade. He has Queen G4 in some position. So do I take on E4 or do I play G3? Or do I play no, Bishop G3? Doesn't make any sense. Maybe G3. Mm. Take on e4, take queen g4, if f3 and rook d2. I still can take and play knight d2. Maybe that's the strongest, because then I support f3. And he has rook c8. I'm really conflicted here, then I take on a7. I'm wasting so much time. Um, okay, I'm going to play g3. Hopefully this doesn't end badly. Because my bishop defends from a distance. Ah, he's attacking the rook. So let's play, play this. His rook is still trapped. And there's a one second increment, which is actually very meaningful. In this sort of situation, because I think I'm I'm just much better, if not close to winning. Just a matter of time. I will respond to the chat once this game is over. I can't waste any more time. Well, I like knight c3 because, okay, the knights are going to get traded. This diagonal will open up. My king will be safe. Whoa! What is this move? I think I can just take. Bishop g2. I guess he's saving the rook. Um, let's play bishop d6. Ah, I had rook h1. I should have seen rook h1. Maybe he'll still miss it. He's probably going to play bishop h3. Ooh, he has knight g4 coming. But I think this is okay, because I have king f3 if knight g4. Pretty sure this is okay. This queen is trapped. My king's on f3. We both have less than 10 seconds left. But I like my situation. Because he has no moves here. Yes. Okay. Interesting game. Uh, it kind of ended abruptly. He went all out for the attack. Knight take f2 and craziness. Um, I think the chess gods were on my side. Because I didn't really calculate too extensively. I just assume this is okay. Um, do I have this bishop b5 move earlier? So I realized it after the fact that I could play bishop b5 and if c6 I could take and essentially win a pawn. Um, yeah, that was probably much stronger. And he would have to play like knight d7 and bishop c6. Uh, okay, lesson learned. Uh, to address people in the chat, uh, hello Tony T, 1005. Uh, I don't think anyone's shared my schedule. Hopefully this works. Schedule. Okay, yeah, Nightbot just gave a link to the schedule. Uh, okay, nice feedback for the stream layout. Thank you everyone for the kind words. Uh, Leak Wars, thanks for the comment. You prefer my play style over Jerry. He plays two positional. 
I prefer positional chess, but sometimes when I play online, I just get uh, I get aggressive. Is this going on YouTube later? Uh, this should be on YouTube later. Um, yeah, feel free to challenge me. I already have seven pending challenges. Most of my streams are... What is open challenge? What does this even mean? Open challenge? Is that from a person? Or that's just... Oh, that's to start a new game? I don't know what this is. I'm curious to accept it, though. Oh, that would... No, that would enable, like, a just a seek. I think. I don't want that. Um, I've never seen that before. Okay, I have Siri by my side. Give me a random number between 1 and 8. Okay, Siri is mute right now. Oh, Siri just started playing music, okay. Give me a random number between 1 and 8. It's 7. 7, okay. All brown, good luck. Um, I'm going to play a, a different opening than usual. Actually, no, I'm going to play a, a similar opening to what I usually have been playing, uh, this Petrov line. And I'm going to try and win as quickly as possible, even if it involves playing dubious moves. Ah, did someone challenge me and then just log off and that's what happened? Okay, uh, the first dubious move, knight c6. I only learned this recently. This is called the Stafford Gambit. And it's not a good opening for black if white is a strong player. But I think it's a very effective opening if white is like below 1600, 1700. I think there's just so many traps. Um, there's many positions where okay, black sacks a pawn very early, but gets a lot of uh, a lot of tactical tricks. So I take with a d pawn. I want to accelerate my development, and okay, we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna play bishop to c5. I don't think I want to say too much. Bishop c5 is a useful move. Attacking f2. Maybe ideas of this. What time control do I prefer? Anything between like 1 minute to 10 minutes, I would say. I mean, if you want to challenge me to longer games, that's okay too. Because uh, Syria is just determining my fate. Uh, okay. D3. What is D3? I think D3 is, uh, it's a natural move, but it allows this move. And that would be, that would be problematic for white. My G4. Okay, I haven't studied the Stafford Gambit opening too extensively, um, so I haven't familiarized myself with all of the traps, but I think this is one of the traps where white just can't defend f2, unless he wants to play this, but then I'll get initiative. Hmm. Who can I mod? I want to mod someone, because there's no mods in the chat. I don't want to be doing mod work while playing. Um, now, okay, now the question is, do I take with the bishop or the knight? Because both seem attractive. I could take, take, take queen e2. I feel like positionally I should just take with the bishop. Or with the knight, and then keep my bishop. Yeah, I think that's a... 
it's a decision you can kind of use judgment and don't have to rely on calculation because now these dark squares are just so weak. Similar to the last game where I, I was the only player with the dark squared bishop, it's a very powerful situation. You can essentially control half the board. Um, White has a hard time fighting for these squares. Wait, Cold Player 1992 sounds really familiar. I think he's another streamer. Are you the person who I raided the other day? And the other day, like before that too? I was inspired by your layout, I think. Like one of the best Lee Chess layouts that I've seen. Okay, Queen F3. I think I'll play Bishop D4. Unless there's a better move. Play bishop h6. Question is, do I want to prevent him from castling queenside or kingside? I think I want him to castle queenside. I'll play bishop d4. Okay, congratulations, cold player. Uh, you have been awarded the mod title. Cold player 1992. Just because there's no mods here. I usually like to have at least one mod. In addition, I usually have like to have at least one Dark Sword Bishop. Such a good bishop. And if he castles Queenside, then I'm I'm gonna try and go all out to attack. Bishop here, Queen here, Queen here. And it's a difficult position for white because, okay, this bishop's kind of stuck. He could develop it, but then he can't castle kingside. This knight is kind of tied down to defending the pawn. I guess I have to figure out what to do as well. I guess I'll start with bishop here. Just improve. Put the ball in white's court. This feels like tennis. We just want the ball to stay in his court. Gain some time. Queen f4. So he wants to maybe improve the bishop further. Well, this would be in my favor because of tactics. Let's play queen e7. It's a flexible move. Keeping him guessing which way I want to castle. Maybe also ideas of this move. Prototyper, thanks for the follow. So he plays knight d1, which is actually probably a decent move, defending the b-pawn and wanting to play c3. Isn't there a saying, always play f6? It's okay in this position. I want to play bishop e5 with tempo. I guess one key line is that if he plays c3, bishop, ooh, he checks me, but I can play g6. I don't think that helped him. Now I'm going to castle queenside. Bishop e5 will still someday come with tempo. Um, and what I wanted to say that, like, when he moves the queen and threatening d4, I can play c5, restricting d4. He moves his bishop again. I can play f5. And the center is about to open up. Always have to be cautious when your queen or when your king is on the same file as your opponent's queen. Uh because now, now I have a, a few options. Play bishop d5 check. Play bishop take a2 check. Bishop take f5 check. Since so all these moves he's probably gonna play king d2. What's the most effective? Maybe just bishop take f5, rook f8. Keep some initiative. His pieces are 100% beef. They need to stay fresh. I do not get that analogy. Um, let my pieces feel fresh, I guess. 
So rook f8, rook f8, or queen b4. Wait a minute. He's going to play king c1 and run away. I'm looking for like tactical ways to stop him. Like bishop f6. He can take on f5 with check. Okay, I'm going to start with this. I have one rook on the same file as his queen, and one rook on the same file as his king. Also, I have a donation. Dawid or Bonsky? Or is it David? Sometimes I struggle with Ws. Thank you, Dawid, for the, the five... Wait, what did he do? He did something. He donated $5. Thanks so much. Really appreciate that. And thank you, Idowid, for the follow. Okay, so I'm keeping the initiative. Attacking his queen. And his king's still on d2. This queen is probably going to move somewhere, g4. Ideally, I want to get queen g5 in. That might be difficult. Also try and get bishop f4 in. Okay, this looks nice. Hello, Lord Pineapple. Good to see you back. Hello, Caveman. Hello to everyone else who I didn't say hi to already. Pony T really likes this color for leeches. Okay. This dark color? I like it too. Uh, this should be mate very soon. I think this is force mate somehow. Uh, I guess he could play knight e3. Oh, maybe it's not. It's not even force mate. Thanks, Lord Pineapple, for for following, and thanks Karmar for the hundred bits. Uh... Okay, time to not get distracted. The knight is pinned. This is definitely not force mate. My rook is pinned. Oh, I want to play like queen b4. Ah, I have an idea. I'm going to play rook e8. My idea only works if, is if he plays uh, rook he1. Rook ae1 is better. I wanted to play this and win the rook. Maybe I just play king b8. Unpin myself, and then threaten rook to e5. Shiva love, thanks for the follow. And hello to 99 Mira from Argentina. Nice. I want to go to Argentina someday. I haven't been to too, too many like South American countries. Wait, am I just winning this? So now I'm up a piece. Still have my dark sword bishop. Uh, what to do? Okay, this is my this is my gun, my Alakine's gun. Someday I'll I'll use it to be aggressive. But in reality, I might just want to play queen b4 in this and mate him. Hello to Zentos. A lot of new names today. Good to see some new people. Uh, I'm going to play a5. Create Luft. Go for the Pawn Storm. What is Asado? Oh, is that barbecue? Or is that grilled something? Pollo Asado is grilled chicken, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Queen g4. It's controlling this. Okay, let's just try and convert this. Uh, let's play queen d6, target the pawn. Try and play a bit quicker too. Hello to Jeep. Good to see you, Jeep. Today, where am I? I'm in uh, St. Louis. I was in London yesterday. I was in Prague like three days ago. 
was in Spain a couple of weeks ago. I continually have to adjust to, to new time zones. Is it super dollar dollar sign to travel the world and play chess? Um, it's not as expensive as you would think. Uh, I'm very into like travel hacking and finding ways to like optimize travels and still travel like with comfort. And I don't know if too many people know this, but like when you reach the IM level, like if you get if you have like the IM or GM title, you can play in a lot of international events where tournament organizers will provide uh like hotel or food. So the two European tournaments I played in um were generous enough to provide uh like lodging and breakfast, which makes it a lot more affordable. And I'm also very passionate about finding cheap flights. Um, like one of the reasons I, I go through London is because it's just so much, uh, so much cheaper to fly through. Uh, let's play this. So this is okay. This position is completely winning for black. It's just a matter of trying to win efficiently. I think I want to keep queens on the board and just try and get some mating attack. This is not the easiest structure to break down, but I have some idea now of moving the bishop and playing rook e2 and targeting b2. Oh. Messages from so many people. I might have to end soon. Hopefully not too soon. Uh, when I started the stream, I was planning to only stream for like an, an hour. Um, what's my uptime? Someone can use uptime command. I still don't want to trade queens. How can I convince my eight-year-old student to not play Scandi? Usually, with especially with younger kids, I let them play any opening they want and just try and give them resources in the openings that they uh, they're interested in playing. I don't want to trade queens. He's being annoying. Okay, let's put the queen on a6. I'm gonna put the pawn on a4 and then move the queen back to b5. I've only been streaming for 20, 28 minutes. Okay, so I guess I'll try and go for another half hour. I've never been to Finland. I've heard good things about Finland, though. I'm not too familiar with the chess scene in Finland, though. Okay, let's remove the bishop. Maybe he'll forget my queen is attacking e2. Please play rook e1. Hey, he played rook e1. <laughs> So nice of him. I guess it was nice to have the queen like far away and have my bishop far away. So generous. Speaking of generous, thank you, Galindra, for the sub. Appreciate that. You can probably just pre move the rest of the moves. What is all of, all this about like farm fresh openings? I don't understand. But I think one d four equals board games. Board games, <laughs> spelled b o r e d. Um, I don't think d four. Oh, d four has a tendency to be more positional because you don't castle as quickly. Um, with e four games, you castle quicker. You attack quicker. Uh, but okay, let's... Oh, he mouse slipped. He mouse slipped. Ouch. Oh, thank you. I wonder what move he mouse slipped on. 
Uh, recap from this game. Um, this is a nice opening trap. The Stafford Gambit. Like, white played two natural moves. Okay, d3 is a blunder. I should probably play like bishop e2 or bishop c4. Oh, bishop c4 runs into bishop take f2. So I should play bishop e2 here. Probably not the easiest move to find. Um, and then the rest of the game was happiness for black. Oh, queen c1 was a mouse slip. Ah, uh, maybe queen d1. Yeah, that would be... Well, that's still, <laughs> still crushing for black. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's play another game. Um, 16 pending challenges. Give me a random number between 1 and 16. It's 3. Nice. Persian bishop. I don't think I've played Persian bishop before. Good luck, Persian bishop. 1852. Is he alive? He's alive. Okay. Well, we'll get to see how boring this d4 opening will be. Okay, c3 might make it very boring. Let's play d5. Maybe he'll play a London. This is knight d2. You're going to play a stone wall. There's a funny trap, which I'm kind of tempted to play. I'm going to play e5 here. This is blitz, and this is casual. Uh, I'm inspired by the Budapest to play e5. The funny trap is that I might have a... Th oh, I don't even have a threat. Well, if he plays this, maybe I could play knight e3. But, okay, now it's just... Um, it's still very much Budapest-themed. I want to win back the pawn. And with a pawn in d5, I actually just have a nice... Will hopefully have a nice base advantage. Okay, let's take the pawn, unless... Like, the idea of knight e3 is uh, sometimes very powerful, but it only works if queen h4 check would be playable. I have some funny idea here of mating him in two moves. I'll probably avoid it, I would think. Did my cursor get really big? Really? Someone can clip that because I've the cur the cursor looks normal for me. But I don't know. Yeah, we have some kind of reverse Karo Khan type position. Um, maybe I could play Bishop C five, but he's gonna play E three. Maybe I play G three. Or g6. It feels like I'm white here. Idea of bishop g7 and bishop f5. Target his queen. Hello, Axe Villager. Good to see you back. Another mod in the chat. As I get bigger, the cursor gets bigger as well. Or as I get better, the cursor gets bigger. Don't know if that's true. Okay. He's playing e4, so he's trying to open up the center. Which means I want to castle as quickly as possible and get a rook to e1 or to e8. It still feels like I'm white. Um, but he's going to castle soon anyway. I play d4. d4. We trade stuff. Knight b3. Maybe I can take and then. I'm going to take first. If he takes with bishop, I play d4. If he takes with knight, I can take, take, and bishop f5. And I'm going to try and move quicker. I keep forgetting this is blitz. Hello to what should I name my dog? What should you name your dog? You should name your dog after whatever opening you play. I would name my dog London, or Nimzo, or Taimanov, or Petrov. Thanks for the follow. What should I name my dog? <laughs> okay, so I have some initiative here. This queen is still a target. I'm going to play this quickly. Okay, he wants to trade queens, but d3 is an awkward square for the queen. 
Yes, it's playable. Let's play queen e7. I want to play rook d8. He's probably going to play this. Then I'll play this. It's an equal-ish position. <laughs> Name your dog Hippo. I like that. Uh, rook d8 first. Bishop f5 first. I don't think his knight is too powerful on g5. Toilet Noggin, welcome back. Is that the first sighting of Toilet Noggin? I think it is. Let's play knight e5. Oh, he wants to play this. And mate me. But I can... Yeah, I can play this, and if he plays this, I play this, he plays this, I take with check. And I win his queen for free. Play c6. Defend the pawn. He still needs to develop this bishop. Okay, good move. Hmm. This bishop's not defended, but I can't really punish him for it. Unless I can. Bishop d3. Knight d3. Just put my rook on an open file. I tell my younger students, rooks on open files have smiles. <sighs> He's following. Following the rule. Maybe queen c5. No, that hangs up on. I just don't know what to do here. Play rook e8. Two open files. At some point I'll probably play h6. I don't want f7 to be dead at some point. And there's no increment, so this is probably going to be some kind of time scramble. Now he's attacking this pawn. Let's defend. Let's do this. Hmm. I think now it's time to play knight d3. I think Zentosi, Zentos something for the follow. The goal is to, or one goal is this, if he takes and I just have the bishop pair. It should be slightly better for black. I'll answer that question, Axe Villager. <laughs> um, let's take on d3. Do I take? Hmm. The rook's defended. Wait, this is scary. My rook is a bit overworked in some lines. I guess I have to do this. If he takes on d8, I take with queen to unpin myself. Okay, things are still under control. Toilet noggin e eating a killer euro. Sounds delicious. Wait, I'm losing a pawn. It's not intended. Let's defend this pawn. Okay, time is going to be a very big factor. Uh, time and initiative. Put the queen there. This black is probably just worse here. But if I keep the time advantage, it should be okay. Also, is this just winning a piece? He has f3 in the end. Huh. This is weird. I have queen d2, trade. Maybe I play rook g5 and then... No, it doesn't work. I 
That's annoying. Okay, I have to move quicker. Let's go for this. And then I just have to flag him. He's gonna win a5. Or not. Or yes. I'll win b2. I'll repeat first. Oh, this is such a bad time scramble. So slow. No, he's queening. Okay, let's put the queen there. I have perpetual now. I think. Ah, okay. Well, that was casual. Um, that was not the highest quality game. Because uh, we both got low on time. I was moving too slowly. That was unfortunate. What went wrong? I lost b7. That was a problem. I probably should have played b5 at some point. Uh, but then later... I thought he blundered, but maybe it was all planned out. I took too much time here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably going to turn on Stockfish to see if there's actual win for uh for black in this position, but I'm not sure. Maybe rook take e5. Then I can take and attack the queen and have two bishops. Okay, analysis board. I'll enable analysis. Rook take e5, best move. It's still equal. How is it equal? Take. Bishop take, take. Queen e7. What? Uh, he's putting pressure. F3 is still a threat. Queen d2. This crazy line. How is this ending? Ah, it ends with perpetual. That's crazy. Joanna Try is good to see you. Um, my weekend. Wait, is it the weekend? It's Monday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> this already confused me. Yesterday was Monday. I just lost track of time. All this traveling. Uh, okay, let's play another game. Um, give me a random number between one and seventeen. It's five. Five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Who's this? Another casual game. You guys can, if you guys want, you can challenge me to rated chess. Uh, then <laughs> a lot of these players will have the best, like the only shot at winning rating points. Um, okay, let's play a new opening. Let's play, let's play g6. Play some kind of pure modern. Magnus lost. I saw he had a difficult position. It's difficult. This is his first loss this tournament. Ouch. He's playing this sign with bishop c4. Can I take on, I'm pretty sure I can take on e4 immediately. This is one of like these, uh, these positional traps in the Pirates. Idea of knight take e4, d5, and the center opens up. Actually not entirely sure of the valuation of this position, but... Okay, let's not hate the b7 pawn. Let's play c6 first. 13 points between Fabi and Magnus, wow. And they're going to play at, uh, at Sinkfeld Cup. In St. Louis, it's gonna be exciting. Bishop, let's play. Let's bring the knight to f6 first. I have a question. Do people hear the rain? Or is my mic just so good that it's blocking out the background noise? It's raining here. And it's getting louder. 
but I'm using like a very, I'm using a new mic. I'm using this professional mic, Blue Yeti. Just found it sitting on the table. Uh, do I take? I don't really want to take. I'll play this move. It runs into knight g5. Maybe I have to take. We'll just get some equal position and I'll try and manage my time. And um, if he takes the queen, I'll be happy. Because then I can start minority attacking. Oh, when you if you hear it when I talk, that's probably because of the sound filter. I wonder how annoying that is. Is it really annoying? Well, that was thunder. I'm going to check the sound on my phone. Which means I should probably keep talking. I should also keep playing. Uh, let's play rook e8, because there's two thematic pawn breaks in this position, e5 and c5. Um, let's put the rooks in the center. I'll probably shift my queen to a5. The fact that he plays c4 makes my bishop much happier. Because d4 is less defended. Maybe double up on the d-file. I'm going to check the stuff after the game. There's thunder and lightning. Don't remember seeing this in the forecast. Okay, I'm going to double up the rooks. Maximize the pressure. I think b5 might be a thematic move. Might lose a pawn. Probably no reason to play it. Maybe this move, knight h5, ideas of knight f4. Also unleashing the bishop. So I essentially have two ideas here. I'm up on time, that's a good sight. Is it better for this? Why is that message blocked? An honest question. Uh, take. I could take on c3 maybe. And then take on d5. I think I'm winning a pawn. Is it better for the streamer to use free Twitch Prime sub or sub manually? I think it's about the same. Um, I appreciate all subs, so thanks to everyone who's subbed. Um, I think it's it's usually better for most people to sub for free if you have Twitch Prime. Okay, so I won a pawn, but I just lost a pawn. Now I can win another pawn. Let's take on c3 with the queen. Up a pawn, good position. Things are coordinated. Good knight on d5. Bishop. Yeah, I have a trick in this position. I'm trying to figure out the best way to execute the trick, though. Maybe this is the best way. The trick is that if he takes here, I have intermesso with check. And with knight f6, I'm attacking two things. I think he's just losing a lot of things here. At least a piece. I don't see how he defends. Because this is running into this, and I'm going to have queen e1 in the end. He'll win the b-pawn. Ah, then I can win the a-pawn. Okay, that was a feel-good sequence of moves. B5. 
He wants me to play queen c1. Uh, I force a queen trade somehow. Maybe I just go for mate. Or go for flagging. Ah, I can bring my knight to g3. That's a cool mating idea. Let's try and mate him before he flags. And before he resigns. That might be difficult. Hmm. Let's do this. So there's actually a funny trick in this position, um, which I'm sure he was going for. If, let's say he plays queen g5. This is actually a very good lesson for people because uh, it sh goes to show why you shouldn't resign in chess. Um, let's imagine I play one of the most crushing looking moves, knight g3. If I'm not mistaken, white to move and draw in this position. I'll let for I'll give some time for the chat to respond. I think there's just an easy draw here. Meanwhile, what are people talking about in the chat? Anything important? Give this guy some hope. He would have had hope if he got to this position. Uh yeah, queen just sacking the queen for a stalemate. Um, now it's tricky in this position because the best move for black is probably to play king f8. Hoping for queen take f7 then I can take and unstalemate him. But this should still be a draw. Like here, here, here. And then if there uh, he can take and if here... He's going to sack the queen eventually. Um, yeah, not the hardest puzzle but useful thing to know in practical games. Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, Marcus Welby asking, why do I prefer Lee Chess instead of Chess.com? I like the Lee Chess interface. The, um, the fact that I can share links to games um, and I can create collections of games and studies and they have the built-in like opening explorer and table base all for free. Um, but I do occasionally play on chess.com when they have like their larger events, like the Arena Kings or Pro Chess League. Um, but uh, I'm grateful that both sites exist. Thanks Coldplayer for the sub. Appreciate that. Follow streamer. I would encourage everyone to check out Coldplayer. Um, he has a, a well put together stream. Okay, um, it's still raining. I might play one more game. Let's play another game. Uh, Siri. Random number between 1 and 20. It's 17. Please don't be a long game. Please don't be a long game. 17. 20, 19, 18, 17. Are we going to play this guy? Legend of Pawns? I don't have time for a 15 plus 15. Uh, who's challenging me to the shortest game? We're going to play Toto. The one minute game. Um, I just don't have time. Like uh, Today's a busy day for me. I have some lectures to prepare. Uh, good luck. Have fun. It's my move. Play G3. Uh, maybe I should be aggressive. I'm going to go for e4. We're going to play a closed Sicilian setup against a king's pawn opening. Play knight h3. And the whole idea with the setup is to play f4, f5, g4, g5, and checkmate him. Oh, uh, that might be difficult now that he took, but now I have an open f file. I'm going to try and bring my knight to the square, or just take and queen d2. I still want to bring my knight to h5. I sack a piece, probably, and then just lift the rook. 
I don't care about material. I care I care about mate. Okay, so I'm down two minor pieces, but I'm threatening mate in one. Oh, he has knight f3. Well, I guess now I have to... This is a good move. Maybe I can play this anyway, and then... I'll be down a rook, but rook g1 is coming. I'm threatening king h... King h1 is not mate, but... Uh, he has queen g5. King h1 would be just such a sweet mate. Um, okay, rook takes g5 mate. I don't think he had any way out after... Uh, well, maybe after g take h4 there's some way out. Oh, I really wanted to play king h1 mate. I don't think I've ever played that in a game. <sighs> So, question for everyone. Can black survive this? Uh, his white threat is very clear. Rook g1, king h1. Maybe there's some way to like give away the queen. Like queen, queen d7, and then this. Toilet noggin, thanks for the 100 bits. I could play h3 even. Or king f3, maybe even stronger. Like queen d7, king f3. Rook g1 would be unstoppable. Okay, I'll check with Stockfish. I'm guessing... Let me try and guess an evaluation. Oh, wait, no. King f3 runs into queen h3 check. But it should still be better for white. I would say, like, plus... Queen g7, rook g1, trade. I would say plus one. It could be way off. It could be like plus 10. Let's see. Plus one. Oh, I was close. Plus 1.6. Plus 2.5. So what's the best line? King g3. What a computer move. <laughs> what is king g3? King g3 actually, I guess, keeps all the ideas. And prevents Queen G. God. I think lightning was like. That was really close to here. Pretty sure that picked up on audio too. Man. Good to be inside. <sighs> it's good that it didn't happen while playing a game. Because that would. That would probably result in a bad move. So king g3, or h3, I guess, f5, this is how computers play chess, king h3 check, and then, okay, white wins the queen, and it's a better version of this queen versus two rooks. Okay, 58 minutes, so I almost made it to an hour. Uh, what can I talk about for one more minute? Okay, I know what to talk about. Uh, there's something happening right now, which is... It's actually being broadcast, I think, on Lee Chess. Let me try and find it. Watch streamers. Oh, no. Oh, Soul Tigo is streaming. Wait. Is it not featuring the thing? Wait a minute. Give me one moment here. I thought they had like a, a broadcast now. I wanted to promote the US Chess Twitch channel, but maybe they're not streaming. They are streaming. Okay, it's just not appearing on the chess. Yeah, but there's there's more Paul. Okay. So, uh I would encourage everyone watching to join this raid uh which I'm about to do. Um there's a broadcast of the U.S. Open Tournament. It's happening now, features some of the best players in the U.S. The winner of the U.S. Open qualifies for U.S. Championships. And it's a cool tournament because it's one big open section. And um, a couple uh, friends of mine are doing commentary. And it's pretty instructive. So let me go ahead and uh, raid U.S. Chess. Um... Hello to people who have just joined. Hello, Brayden. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm taking off. See you guys.